All right, Sword Vibers Polly Jr. here, and welcome back to The Infected. Let's play again. Now that the game has been improved quite a bit, a lot of new content has been added, and we had a nice little series going, but then I had to abandon it because the map had changed and uh, it basically broke the game. So let's start up a new game and see how far we can get before they do the same thing to us <laughs> and make it unplayable. This all looks the same. Swarm attack settings um, will start on day 10. Spawn quantity 3. Every 3 days enabled. Enable predator. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go. Uh, we got to give it a name, right? All right. Let's give it a name. Let's call it Season 2, I guess. Start it up. Oh, and here we are. Season 2 begins. And there's our tuna pond. Fantastic. Got to have a tuna pond. What do I... I seem so tall. <laughs> I feel like I'm seven feet tall. I don't know why and I'm running super fast Maybe because I've been playing so much uh, Valheim and other games that it's just throwing me off could be anyway So here we are we have a new tutorial and player stats gonna hold the F key you got a compass and all the minor tasks that we need to do here's all of the uh, our statistics health stamina thirst proteins carbs fats Vitamins, energy, this all looks pretty much the same. It's now day one in the afternoon. Well, it starts us right at noon, doesn't it? And it's March, spring, so the temperatures are right now relatively pleasant. So let's go ahead and do the thing with the thing. Uh, and that means get started building and crafting and all of that jazz. We've done this a gazillion times, so we know what to do. Is this the same pond as before? Oh, look at that. <gasps> Delicious. We're going to leave it right there. It's so big and so heavy that we don't want to pick it up and carry it over. I think this is this the same exact pond we had before. Let's check the map. No, maybe not. I don't think we were here before. We were like over in this area. What is that? It's like a big cave. Is that right there? It's like right over here next to us. Okay, this is a fair location. Sort of in the middle of the map down in the south, but at least we're in kind of a central location we can strike out from here let's just grab all the rocks and all the loose sticks and then we can start crafting up the basic tools and weaponry and then we'll uh we'll get working on a base right here it's going to be kind of the same as the last base <laughs> very very basic all right we got our sticks we got our stones we have to make a stone axe and a stone blade and let's see if i remember how to do all that that's the blade very easy and for an axe, I think we just do... How do we split these again? Yeah, okay. One stick, one little stone, craft an axe. Super duper easy. And now the, the fun part. And I say that... Uh, whoops, wrong button. E. And I say that uh, with some trepidation because I think um, one of the updates had added a, like a, a new workbench type thing, a saw blade or saw mill or something um in order to cut down the logs into planks and when that update came out that was one of the reasons i abandoned the game because it seemed to add some unnecessary busy work and i wasn't a big fan so hopefully that's not as bad as it was back then i don't know we're gonna find out yeah that right there saw bench yes it takes four logs to make and then we need that to cut everything down into planks and then we can build, because all this stuff requires planks now and not just logs. Yeah, that, I'm, I'm not a super duper fan of that, especially after playing Valheim, which makes the building so, so easy. It's a shame that, uh, I think this, it's a shame that this was added, because I don't think it adds any value to the game. It just adds another task, like watch this. Well, first of all, you got to make it. So it takes a bunch of logs to make it. There we go, four logs. Then you take a log. And you plop it on, right? And you can only put one log at a time. So you have to sit here and babysit the darn thing. And wait. And then you get some planks. <laughs> then you can take the planks out of here and use them for building. Yeah. Why? Why? Why, I ask you, developer, why? Just let me build with logs. Come on. You can make a full house with just logs in the real world little log cabin would have been divine um, and maybe use the the planks for like furniture you know what I mean like the basic structure we should be able to get up pretty quickly and easily all logs whip it up get inside call it a day 
and then maybe use the, the planks for furniture and other uh, carpentry jobs, but not the actual structure. At least that's my opinion. So there it is. You can agree or disagree or discuss in the comments. <laughs> Either way, that's how I feel. So there you go. All right, so we're making the planks. Fantastic. What do we have to do now? Um, stone pickaxe. We don't really need that. Well, I guess we'll do it. And then the foundation. Let's do the stone pickaxe, which I believe is a stick, a stone blade, and two plant fiber. So we should have a bunch of fiber now. Yes, we do. And we have a stone blade. So we're going to take the stone blade. We're going to take one stick. Confirm. And what was it? Five fiber? I think it was five fiber. And nope. Two fiber. Two fiber. Another thing I wish, if you put more than what is necessary in here, that it would still understand what you're trying to do. You know what I mean? Or, or even just have a menu over here where you can choose what you want to craft. Just like, you know, every other game um, where crafting is involved. <laughs> so yes, I know I'm nitpicking. I do like the game. Um, don't, don't get me wrong. I, I do like the game. And I'm excited to see the new content. Um, I'm just going to be probably comparing every new crafting, building, survival game to Valheim since Valheim got everything so right with the building, especially. You're not punished for building, and you shouldn't be punished for building. It should be easy and quick. I mean, at least this game allows you to put stuff down and move it around. That is actually really, really nice. All right, let's construct our foundation Four logs, six planks. And how do we rotate with the wheel? Um, yeah, we're going to plop it down right here. We're going to kind of make the same thing we made last time, I suppose. Just plop one down here and one there. We're just going to make a basic two by two square for now. Um, and we, we can lay out the blueprints for additions, but that's just going to look dumb. Yeah, this is just going to be right here. Up by the tuna pond, pretty close to the tuna pond. We'll have a little backyard. And uh, now we just have to throw everything in there, right? Like the logs. Keep this going. Keep it going. I mean, this wouldn't be so bad if you could stack the logs up on top of it. But to babysit one at a time is just kind of foolish. And that's about all I'm going to say about that. Because I know you guys don't want to hear me complain. You want to see me have fun and play. And we are going to have fun and play. It's going to be fun. Trust me. All right. I'm going to whip this thing up. It's going to take some time, but we'll get it done. Uh, each one of these takes six planks and four logs. Holy smokes. That's fine. It's all fine here. <laughs> all right. Let me, uh, let me get to chopping, and I'll be right back. All right. We're going to do something. We're going to make a placeable right here because this was an old trick in the olden days. Let's see if it still works. I'm not sure it does. But we can make a fire... No, not a firewood stand. A log stand. Yeah, we're going to make a log stand. We'll plop that right there. And then we can fill that up with logs. Make it, rather. And then fill it up. Um, how many logs does it need? Oh, I think it needs sticks, right? Oh, my bad. It needs sticks. So let's... Uh, well, we can do this. We can harvest these. You get firewood and sticks, right? It's all coming back to me. And we fill it up. And now we have a little a log stand. And we can put our logs on here. I think we can get, what, six or eight, maybe? I forget. Oh, yeah, look at that. Keep keep stacking. And then we can pick it up and move it. Uh, what? what? Please remove all logs before moving. <laughs> no. This was one of the best things for using these stick stands was to carry stuff around. You go out in the woods, chop down a bunch of trees, and then just bring your whole stand over where you're building. I mean, it didn't make sense, right? Because it would be super heavy. But at least we didn't have to run back and forth like we're going to have to do after all. Okay, never mind. Very well. Let's keep that thing going. Grab some planks off here. And we're getting we're getting mighty close to finishing this. Mighty close. Well, no, we're not. Oh, I hear a deer. I hear a deer. Let's, um, let's get the deer. Let's break this down. Turn it into sticks, and we can make a spear. What's a spear? One stone blade, three sticks, and five plant fiber. All right, let's do that right now. So it was th whoops, three sticks, stone blade, and five fiber. And we'll get our first weapon. We can use this for hunting. We can use it for stabbing zombies. We can use it for all kinds of cool things, right? 
All right, get another plank going there. <laughs> and let's go hunting. I think that is one of our one of our tasks here, right? Build a campfire, finding carbs, hunting for proteins. Yeah, since it's right there, I just saw him. Uh, where'd he go? There he is. All right, let's go see how close we can get. I forget if stealth is a thing. Oh, we, okay, well, we can't get very close. <laughs> he just bolted. Oh my gosh, he's coming right at us. Oh. <laughs> Wait, did I throw my spear? I think I threw it, and it's now gone. Where did it go? Yeah, I tossed it. Did I hit him? Oh. Dude, do you have a spear sticking out of you? I don't know. I didn't see where it went. Oh my. Can I just whack him with the axe? I mean, he gets super close. He's a fast swimmer. <laughs> what is going on? I think I threw the spear right through him. I don't know where it went. Did it end up in the water? Somebody down here? Okay, wow, we got some weird sounds going underneath our pond. What is that little thing? Some little rodent. A muskrat? All right, well, I guess we're gonna have to make a new spear. So let's get back to the drawing board here. I'm gonna harvest, I'm gonna drop the firewood. All right, let's try that again. So how do you throw it? Okay, wow, the thing is like a rocket. Maybe we won't even throw it at an animal. We can... What's going on down here? <laughs> it's not just a tuna pond, it's a rodent pond. Is that a tuna? And a deer pond. Wow, well, we, we hit the jackpot here. What is that? Yep, that's a tuna. So tunas still live in... Uh, live in ponds apparently and infected and they're pretty good eating we got two right there let's harvest them actually we'll leave them right there for now <laughs> what is that thing is that a badger or something they're pretty nasty we don't want to get too close oh he's right there a raccoon is that a raccoon all right well i think that's a new a new a new critter i've not seen those critters before i don't know what's going on Let's not play with the wildlife, and let's continue working on our shack, because it's going to get dark, and we're going to need a place to sleep tonight. All right, I think we're done with the foundation. Two foundations, uh, four foundations, that's it. All of that work. <laughs> and now let's make a campfire. So what does it take to make a campfire? That is a placeable under food. Yes, ten stones and eight fir wood. All right, we can do that. So where do we want to put this thing? Let's do sort of the same uh, same layout we had before. I hear a deer. Sounded super, super close. There's a little birdie. Yeah, I think they're, the noise is the, the animals make travels really far. Because I don't see him, but I heard him. Anyway, let's get the fire out. Oops, see, there he is again. <laughs> Let's just put a little campfire right here for now. Can we spin that around? Yeah, a little close close to the uh, the house. What does that sound? Is that the fire? I don't know. Let's throw the stuff in there. It's making sounds, but nothing's actually even on right now. I don't know why it is doing that. We need more stones and one more firewood. All right. Uh, small stones. We need to go bang out a rock. Let's do that. We have a pickaxe. I think that's clay. This is a rock right here. Unless my eyes doth deceive me. All right, got all the stones and more to boot. There we go. There's a campfire. Beautiful. And I think we have to put firewood on the campfire, even though I just put six in there. But it needs more, right? Open it up. And then we drag and drop. Firewood right here. And then we can light it up. Can't start a fire while it's raining. It's raining. Is it raining? It's not raining. I don't see any rain. Um, means it's going to rain. So let's go ahead and put a... Um, we can put a canopy over this thing, right? That's under placeables furniture? Others. Yeah, this guy right here. Shelter. Four wooden logs. Easy peasy. Just like we had it in the olden days. Just plop that. No, no, no. E. Put one right there, and then we'll fill it in with the logs. Get one, two logs here, and a whole bunch of logs over here. All right, it's all coming back to me. 
I don't think we're going to be able to finish this this shelter before nightfall because it seems like it's getting late in the day. In fact, we can see what time of day it is. 6.20 p.m. Yeah, I think the sun goes down early here. Here comes the storm. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. What's the point? There's really no point in even using this thing anymore. You can just leave the logs on the ground. I mean, it'd be nice to stack up around the house to keep things neat and orderly. But you can't use it to transport logs anymore. Which makes me sad. There's a birdie. All right, there we go. Just keep this thing going. Just keep that thing going all day long, right? And now we can get the fire going, I hope. It's under the canopy. Yes, there we go. Beautiful. And, well, we don't really need any more firewood. I don't think that should be enough for our fish. Where's our fish at? Did something steal my fish? Uh... Hmm, I can't find my fish. Did something come over here and steal my fish? <laughs> uh, they were right here, weren't they? My tuna? I can't find my tuna. All right, we're going back in. Let's go find some more tuna. Well, that's not a tuna, but it's some kind of a fish. All right, well, maybe we shouldn't leave it on the ground. It's a trout. Let's harvest it. Yeah, we got two raw fish meats. Oh, why am I dizzy? Why am I dizzy? I'm getting dizzy. Is that because I'm hungry? Let's check the stats. Oh, thirsty. All right, well, let's have a drink of water. There we go. Oh, there's a big one. There's a big one. Got him. I think that's another trout. All right, that's enough. Drop it. Harvest it. And let's get this fish on the bobby. One, two, three, and four. All right, that shouldn't take very long. We can dump water in here too, but we have fresh water right now, so we don't want to do that. Planks going so we can finish up this house. I want to find the rascal that stole my tuna. My pond tuna. <laughs> All right, I think we can pull these right off the fire like that. They look delicious. Let's go ahead and eat one. I think that's part of a quest, right? Yes, hunting for proteins. We need to hunt for carbs. Well, we have a, um, a watermelon. Oh, there's that little stinker. Where's that little tuna thief? You little tuna thief, I will get you. He's in the water somewhere. I can't really see in the water very well. Dang tuna thieves. Well, we better grab that watermelon, otherwise we'll probably steal that too. <laughs> And this one we harvest, and we get two halves, and we can eat it, get some carbs. Beautiful. All right. So there we go. Check that off the list. And we have to build a forge now and make an iron ingot. All right, forge. However, I think before we get to the forge, I just want to finish my, my shelter. Man, that storm is so loud. Okay, I'm going to finish the shelter. And then we'll build up the forge, so this could take all night. How's our energy looking? Yeah, I think we have enough energy to do this through the night. Better grab these planks off here. I don't know how many this thing holds. Is there a plank um, rack? I think there is. Plank stand. Six sticks. We can do that. We'll put it right next to this one. All right, let's move these planks over here because I, I don't think this thing's going to work if it's full. It's probably going to stop, right? Is my guess. The sun's back out. It's 8 p.m. I think they may have extended the daylight in this game. I seem to recall it getting dark really, really soon. Early, like 7 p.m. But the sun is lingering, and that's going to be good for us to finish this job right here okay i have chopped down all the trees in the area so hopefully we have enough material to finish this job let's get the walls up just gonna put a door here and how about a nice window yeah going back and forth like this is also kind of a hassle hopefully they can do something about that how come it won't go in is this um i think my thing is in the way here my shelter Let's move it over here for now, just to get it out of the way. Something's not working. 
Okay, there we go. I moved it way the heck over there. Gave me some space that we needed, apparently. I just want to put a window there. And we'll put a window here. Put a window in the back. And then maybe a window on this side. And then we'll do a bunch of non-window walls. And then we can start filling these in. I mean, this part of the building is pretty easy. You're just laying out the, the structure itself. And then all you do is fill it in with the goodies. Keep that saw blade thingy going. Might even be worth making two of those things, you know? Oh, I'm heavy. Oh, I didn't know you could be heavy. I'm heavy. Alright, let's drop some things. Why am I so heavy? 50 plant fiber. 100 bark chips. We're going to have to make a chest at some point to get this stuff out of my inventory. Alright, keep those planks coming. It is now dark. Is there some kind of a lighting? Is there a torch? I know there's a torch. One stick, five fiber. Let's do that. First, let's put the planks in over here. Because I am full. Let's make a torch, which is one stick and five fiber, I believe. Yeah, there we go. Now, question is, can we carry the torch around and still do work? No. <laughs> well, I mean, you can, but the torch doesn't stay up where I want it. Oh well. It was worth a try. Aha! There's a cart. A log cart. So that's how we transport logs. However, we need metal to make it. We need nails. So it's going to be useless at this point in the game. <laughs> anyway, it's still dark. It's still night. And I'm still building. We need a little bit more here. What do we have left? We need three logs and four planks. And three logs and four planks. So according to my calculations, that's six logs and eight planks. Let's go get them. I think I'm all done with the logs. Dang it, i got to chop down more trees, it seems. Oh, here's one. Probably have enough planks. So let's not make any more planks right now. And we'll just dump these logs into the walls. I will sleep in a house without a roof. But it's better than nothing. Oh, here's a log right here. Yeah, I was hoping there was some kind of a stationary torch, or like a standing torch or a wall torch or something, but I did not see that. So I think we need metal for that as well. If I recall correctly, we had a little torch or a candle or something inside the house one time. Oh, I guess I had some planks on me. I didn't even realize that. Let's go finish that much at the very least. And let's see. There we go. All the planks are in. We just need two logs let's just chop this tree down right here and we can get inside for the night how's our energy yeah it's getting low we want to make sure we get a good night's rest so we have energy in the morning timber and then we can hunt down that little tuna bandit that little rascal stole our tuna <laughs> two tuna fish that's a lot all right now what do we need let's hop up here well obviously a roof let's get that torch out so we can see and um how about a bed how do we make a bed that is a placeable right it's furniture right there six planks oh that's easy all right let's stick that right over here in the corner looks fine and let's add the materials a few more planks that's all we need we can carry planks and a torch at the same time just not the logs all right there we go we got a bed how about a door it's a door cost these days Right here, a wooden door. Six planks. Whoop, what the heck? How do we get it in there? All right, there we go. Six planks. I think we have that. We might need more planks. Let's throw that guy on there. Ooh. All right. One more. One more. There we go. We got a door. We have a bed. We don't have any way up. So we can just hop up and we can go to bed. Let's put the torch down. And I... Th whoop. Put the torch down. Get the axe in the hand, sure. Um, I'm not even going to do a roof. <laughs> We're going to sleep under the stars tonight, my friends. But I think we have a pretty good day today. We did finish, well, not the whole base, but we got at least walls up. And we're relatively safe in here. And I think in the next episode, we'll go out, we'll make a furnace, and we'll get into smelting and that kind of thing. Um, yeah, so I think it was a good day. Let's put that torch down. Put the torch down. Hop into bed. And good night.